What is happening gamers? It's Roll Easy here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to duplicate aircrafts in your hangar completely solo. You do not need a friend for this. You can do this 100% by yourself. All right, but shout out to the founder, Apocalypse, who's the original founder, and the new workaround is found by YNWA96. So shout out to those guys for helping us out with this glitch. Now, I want to add right now that we're not going to be duplicating Pegasus vehicles. We're only going to be duping these personal aircrafts, all right? So what you're going to need is a hangar with the mod shop. You got to have the mod shop so you can sell the aircraft. And remember, you can only sell the original. This is not an unlimited money glitch. I'll get back into that, you know, a little bit. Or I'll get into it more in the video. But, uh, but yeah, you're only going to be duplicating each plane one time. And I'm going to show you why. But right here, we're just going to go ahead and get started with the glitch. Now, what you want to do is have your plane ready that you want to dupe. You're going to go outside and you're going to go ahead and call up any vehicle. You can call up an RH-8. Uh, I recommend RH-8s because they are cheaper to actually, uh, you know, call for Morris Mutual to make a claim on. They're only about 1100 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and call up my LG RH-8. Now, the LG RH-8, it'll take a few seconds to actually spawn up, but once it does spawn, all you want to do, honestly, is blow it up. However you want to blow it up, whether it's a rocket launcher, a grenade launcher, whatever's cheaper for you if you want to be more efficient. Like I said, I'm being efficient with this glitch by using an RH-8 because it's only 1100 bucks to make a claim for. So, and make sure you're calling your RH-8 or your, you know, your vehicle from somewhere other than the, uh, the MOC in the hangar. You cannot make a claim on a vehicle from the hangar and you cannot make a claim from any vehicle from the MOC for this glitch to be able to work. Okay, it has to be from a, a garage, or uh, I do believe the MC Clubhouse does work, but I'd say just use it from a, from one of your garages where you store your cars in. I'm going to go ahead, and we're actually going to be duplicating the Rogue. So once I get into my Rogue, I'm going to go ahead and open up my phone and call up Moore's Mutual. Now, once I call up Moore's Mutual, I'm going to go ahead and hover over the 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 uh what's it called the rh8 that i just blew up and this rh8 that i just blew up outside as you can see 1100 to actually get back not too much and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna slam on the left trigger and press pause at the exact same time so here we go left trigger pause we're stuck in this screen you're gonna press pause again and then spam a and then you're actually gonna see in the top right your money gets taken out but I'm going to do that again eventually uh, in this video. We're going to do two planes. And as you can see, I'm frozen outside with this plane. I don't know if anybody else gets frozen, but I get frozen. So don't hop out of your vehicle. I made that mistake and it didn't work out right. So I just went ahead and pressed right D-pad to enter the hangar again. If you're on PlayStation, uh, to get glitched out, that would have been L2 and the pause button. And then you press pause again and then that would have been x all right i spam it just a couple times after just to make sure i do make the claim for it but as you can see as i drive back into the hangar i'm gonna go back in and check it out this is actually the duplicate that i'm in the original is right there so i'm gonna show you right here once i you know once i show you guys my excitement that we duplicated the plane it's a very very easy glitch uh but once this is what I wanted to tell you guys that this isn't an unlimited money glitch you actually can only duplicate the original once and then you want to go ahead and sell the original and I'm gonna show you why right here so I'm gonna hop into the original plane right here and I'm gonna enter the mod shop this is why you need the mod shop guys to be able to sell so right d-pad to enter into the uh, mod shop and modify seller aircraft eight hundred ninety seven thousand dollars that's on the original it will let me sell that one now I'm gonna run back over to the duplicate and show you guys what it says when I actually go and try to sell that one excuse me when I actually go to try to sell this one you're actually gonna get a message now this message you're gonna get just because it's a duplicate it's kind of like duping sports cars and supercars you see sorry you can only sell vehicles worth up to fifty thousand dollars that's usually what used to happen when we were duping you know from sports cars supercars or using street cars to merge over that's just one of those messages that we did used to get so you guys have to be aware of that, that this is not an unlimited money glitch. And right here, I'm going to show you guys uh, one vehicle that you're not going to actually want to duplicate. Now, the vehicle that you don't want to duplicate are Pegasus vehicles. Now, Pegasus vehicles, you have to realize that, yeah, we do buy them. And this one in particular, I actually got from the recent Give Cars to Friends glitch that just got patched. Uh, and 
it was a really really easy glitch I had made a video on it and everything it would have been like five minutes long it wasn't even that that big a deal but I got this vehicle right here for ten thousand dollars using the gift cards to friends glitch I used I called it up from my CEO vehicle menu and I was able to call it up and then go ahead and actually duplicate it and bring it into my what wasn't really a duplicate I guess it was just more bringing it and parking it inside the MOC it actually blew up and then killed me and stuff and then I had to do a little bit of work to get it back and then you know I was able to actually make it a personal vehicle and drive it back in so this vehicle that usually costs around 2.5 million I got just for a measly ten thousand dollars so sadly I wasn't able to post that video but it's all right so here we go we're gonna do the glitch one more time now this time we're gonna be duplicating the Starling so I'm gonna go ahead and call up Moore's Mutual or sorry my mechanic and I'm gonna go and order another RH8 now if you want to be extra safe you can order extra RH8s and not use the same one I actually ordered up a fresh RH8 that I uh, that I had just recently had delivered to the garage now this RH8 right here is another new one you can tell by the color once I show you I do believe this one's pink and here we go yep there it is go ahead and blow it up and that's the hardest part of the glitch right there <laughs> just blowing up the car now the the glitch itself is pretty easy but I have seen some people having trouble with it uh, it's the timing I guess you just got to get your timing right but it's it's really like a four button combination it's not insanely out of this world um, I've seen people just duplicate their entire hangers within you know 10 minutes it's it's you know it's not difficult okay but you know any questions you know where to put them so I still got my two rogues right there and this time we're gonna jump into the Starling so right here hopping into the Starling we're gonna go ahead and proceed to do the same thing I'm gonna call up Moore's Mutual and I'm gonna hover over make a claim and wait to do the glitch until the phone gets put away some people were saying they couldn't fly out of the hangar with the phone up that's okay wait till the phone goes away you see how it drops down right there boom so right here I'm gonna go ahead press start and left trigger at the same time press start again and spam a and there we go that's the glitch right there so for PlayStation that's L2 and pause at the same time and then that's pause again and spam X a couple times right after to make the claim for the vehicle and each time I ended up bricked outside I was bricked inside this thing one attempt I actually tried to get out and back in and it wouldn't let me get back in the vehicle so I had to blow it up and I had to go do the glitch again so I would recommend if you get bricked like that don't get out of the vehicle just hit right d-pad to get back into the uh, into the hangar okay now I'm gonna go over this right now since a lot of people were thinking this is like one of those unlimited money glitches with the uh, you know duplicating retros and things like that all right you cannot do that with this glitch this glitch is merely just to make back half of your money that you spent on your planes once again not an unlimited money glitch this is the original I can sell for 1.7 million and the uh, the duplicate you're gonna see I'm gonna get that same message if you want to be super safe uh, plates or planes don't have uh, custom plates or regular plates or anything like that but since we're using RH8s if you want to be extra safe just in case you're paranoid I know there's some of you out there order up a brand new RH8 for every dupe that you make okay even though the dupes aren't being merged you can still do that if you want to be extra safe okay I have no problem with people doing that you know it's just it's completely up to you now obviously the planes don't got plates so you don't really have much to worry about but it's just to be safe you know there's no point in uh if it takes what an extra two minutes to order up an rh8 so it's not really that big a deal if you feel safe for doing it that way now selling these vehicles is really important just because they're planes doesn't mean that they don't count towards your daily sell limit when it comes to that aspect these are just like your dupes that you're selling your cars that you sell you know with regular plates they all there these are personal aircraft which means that they're personal vehicles a, a personal vehicle is every dupe that you got in your garage right now so these all count towards your daily sell limit don't think you can just sell all these planes back to back to back and you can get away with it does not work that way you must sell these planes as if they you were selling dupes so you sell one and you wait 31 minutes and then you're able to sell another one and you can only sell eight max personal vehicles in one day you need to make sure that you are aware of that okay you don't want to sell any more than eight if you've been dupe detected already I wouldn't sell any more than seven in one day and that's a 30 hour period guys uh, down the road a little bit I will be coming out with another daily sell limit video to educate everybody a bit more on it my old video is a little bit you know outdated so I'm gonna make an update video for that alright so that's gonna be it for me I'm roll easy hope you guys enjoyed and learned something 
Make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, guys.